Hello and welcome to On Purpose Astrology. This video looks at the Pluto in Virgo generation and what Pluto in Aquarius means for the Pluto in Virgo generation. Let's very quickly, to start off with, have a look at the dates for when Pluto was in Virgo. Roughly speaking, Pluto was in Virgo between 1956 and 1972. We'll see it at the top there. October 20th, 1956 was when Pluto first went into Virgo. And when it finally left Virgo, it was July the 30th, 1972. You'll see here there's a bit of back and forth because of the, the retrograde motion of Pluto. So if you're not sure what your Pluto sign is, whether it's in Virgo or not, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all these dates into the description below so that you can look at them and leisure and figure out whether you're Pluto and Virgo or not. But now I'll talk a little bit about what Pluto and Virgo means. So if you have Pluto in Virgo, born between 56 and 72, many of you will have Pluto conjunct Uranus as well. So you were born into a cycle of societal change, revolution and rebellion. Change, often shocking, was born out of this rebellious spirit. We can look at the swinging 60s. Tune in, turn on, drop out, the hippie movement. We can also look at the moon landing. The moon landing was exciting. It was spirit of idealism and change in technology. Pluto in Virgo also saw the birth of the environmental movement and the feminist movement. There were, ho there were social, health and welfare reforms during this transit as well in many places. Virgo is about small things and Pluto is about big impact. So we saw small things with big impact coming through. The contraceptive pill revolutionised contraception and was part of the sexual revolution, sexual freedom for many. The silicon chip, well, we know what happened with that. We wouldn't be here today creating this video, watching this video if it wasn't for the silicon chip. Television became widespread. Big cinema screen suddenly became a small screen in the corner of your sitting room. Now, Pluto and Virgo generation, they're Generation X. Hard working, balancing the idealism of the Leo generation. Life for Generation X got real. And many people with Pluto and Virgo grew up during a time of unemployment, which meant that when they left university, it might have been harder for them to find a job, to find a career than it was for previous generation, the Pluto in Leo generation. Pluto in Virgo is also the generation with the potential to clean up the environmental and humanitarian messes with practical solutions. Now that the Pluto in Virgo generation are in middle age and late middle age, they might have the education and the experience to do that. We still need to see solutions because we know the environment, climate change is a real crisis now. The Pluto in Virgo generation might have held themselves back, for example, through lack of confidence or through punishing perfectionism. Certainly, it's a generation that felt more grown up than their parents. If you remember, if you watched the last video about Pluto in, in Leo, we talked about the childishness and the playfulness of Leo. Whereas this generation probably didn't have as much chance to be free and, 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 uh, and playful because they had to work hard, work hard to get a career and get a job, etc. It's also a generation that had to learn about perfectionism and the impossibility of perfection. 
And of course, Pluto in Virgo demands the truth. It wants to know what's really going on. It's good for researching and really digging in and finding what's really, really happening and responding to it in a practical and efficient and helpful way. Virgo is all about service, of course. Whereas Pluto in Leo might have served themselves, Pluto in Virgo are asked to serve something bigger than themselves perhaps in small ways, but something bigger than themselves. That's kind of the essence, I think, of Pluto and Virgo. So what will happen when Pluto in Aquarius makes a connection with your Pluto in Virgo? Well, you will have the quincunx aspect, the 150 degree aspect at some point when Pluto goes into Aquarius. If you have Pluto very, very early Virgo, you'll might already be experiencing that. It will occur when this generation, when you, if you're Pluto and Virgo, are in your mid 60s to early 70s. And with these kind of aspects, on all transits really, it's good to look back on what happened the last time there was a similar aspect or the same aspect. You won't have had Pluto quincunx Pluto before in your lifetime, but you will have had Pluto square Pluto in your mid to late 30s. So think back to what changed then. What did you want to change? What changed for you that you didn't want to change? What change was resisted? What change didn't happen that maybe should have happened? What unfinished business? Now, quincunx energy is awkward and comfortable. It brings friction and irritation. So this could be an anxious time for some. It's a time that calls for adjustment. And the controlling nature of the Pluto and Virgo generation will likely be challenged. If it's anxiety that, that, that you might be experiencing, it's that controlling nature of trying to control things that you can't control can be a source of anxiety. So that's something to think about during this quincunx when it happens for you. Freedom versus control, of course, is another theme. Now, Pluto and Virgo likes to be organized and aims for perfection. But the quincunx aspect can bring disorganization, forcing this generation to confront the fact that life isn't always neat and can't always be controlled. So there might be lessons in learning how to respond to events and circumstances that you can't control, which might mean just letting go. Try not to worry about it, Pluto in Virgo. Virgo itself is the worrier of the zodiac or one of them. Queen Cunx shows us that solutions are not always easily found. And again, that leads to the irritations and frustrations that we've talked about. Queen Cunx aspects often come up in relationships, tensions in relationships, not seeing eye to eye with others. This is because planets that are in a Queen Cunx aspect are in signs that do not share an element or do not share a mode. So sometimes it's hard to see what they might have in common with each other. We will talk in a second about some areas of commonality that we can find between Virgo and Aquarius. But you might have heard the phrase in relationships of, oh, we kind of rub along together okay. That's kind of the essence of the quincunx in relationship in, in, in these signs. You rub along together, you make adjustments, you try and ignore the irritations and frustrations and you make it work and you find common commonalities. This isn't just about the one-on-one -on -one relationship. It's also about family and group and of course, community level with Pluto and Aquarius. Aquarius is very much about group and community. This Queen Conks aspect might bring health challenges for some. So if you have any niggling health issues, get them checked out would be the advice by a professional, of course. For some, there'll be issues around retirement. Remember, this quincunx happens in the mid 60s to early 70s. So there'll be questions around when to retire, if you want to retire, whether it's possible, whether it's affordable, or for some, forced retirement. Remember, Virgo likes to be useful. So retiring when there's nothing else to do, nothing else on the horizon might be difficult. That might cause that anxiety and that frustration and that tension. 
And being useful actually is one of the commonalities between Aquarius and Virgo in different ways, but both signs like to serve. Pluto in Virgo, Virgo generally likes to serve in smaller ways. Small, make, remember, small things make a big difference with Pluto in Virgo. Aquarius is more of the activist energy. And actually, when we think that both signs have communication in common, they're both about communication. Virgo is ruled by Mercury and Aquarius, of course, is an air sign. So it might be activism, having a voice, speaking up for others whose voice can't be heard. Some might feel a strong desire to have their own voice heard for themselves for the first time. The desire and empowerment to communicate with honesty, accuracy and authenticity. Honesty, accuracy and authenticity are three things, again, that Pluto um, in Virgo and Pluto in Aquarius have in common. So I hope that's given you a little taste of the quincunx. It's not an easy aspect, but I think there are certainly ways to use it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe so you can watch all the other videos. There's this Pluto series of videos, but lots of other videos upcoming, plus short videos as things happen in the air and things happen in the sky so that you can keep up to date with the latest astrology. And I'm really grateful for you watching. As I say, please subscribe, please share, please like. And I'm going to say until next time, bye for now.